Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to another route building tutorial. Now in last week's video, uh, you saw me building this river and this amazing bridge that I'm so proud of. So in today's video, we are going to give it detail, we're going to give it some trees, we're going to give it some rocks, we're going to give it just all the detail that the, a little small little river needs for an amazing small route like this. So let's go into the world editor and let's begin. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited to start adding some details. So we need to go to the tree, it's in fact... I know I keep using these trees a lot, but these trees are so good, so I'm going to copy these trees, and I'm just going to place them here, because these trees are actually really good. I mean, they're, they're, they're 3D models, and I, I like 3D model trees, so we're just going to copy these ones here, then paste these down, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, so like so. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I am so chuffed to bits of how well this river actually turned out to be. Like, it's even, like, I'm, I'm even surprised. I mean, I know I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an okay root builder, but I didn't know I'd be, like, so good at making, like, amazing small little, like, river banks and bridges and everything. God, see, look, look at that. See, already, that is looking like a proper heritage line. I mean, I, I don't know what you guys think, but that just looks so special. I can't... I mean, we need to add rocks. Let's, see what, let's add the rocks next, because I'm actually, like, really excited. Uh, that's a brick. Let's see if we can find some uh, some rocks. That's gravel, Oliver. You don't want gravel. Whoa, that is a big rock. Okay, that is a rock we don't actually want. That's a bit, That rock is a bit too big. Oh, I've just remembered, my friends, that the rocks are actually... In a DLC, I think it's the Riviera line in the 50s, but that's a DLC that we need to activate to actually have rocks on this route, but I don't want to do that because some of you guys might not even have that, and plus, you know, we're using all the default stuff, we don't want to be using any DLCs or anything, this is just the stuff, this is the basics, so I can't actually add rocks, so I'm going to have to sort of like maybe improvise a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh, I found a... I found a cute little shed. Actually, I've got I've got a great idea where this little shed can go. I think I'm not sure if it will work, but can it go over here? Maybe on the, on this side. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That is that is cool. I like that. No, I like that. I like that. So hold on. If we copy this and maybe we can make this a bit longer, because maybe maybe it's like a, it could be like a bigger shed. So we'll make it a bit. Bigger, like so. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that can work, can't it? Small little shed for the little tank engine or little trains to have a little sleep, sleep. I like that. Perfect. Well, there you go. Sorted it. The engine can sleep there now. I've given the engine a home. But we need to focus on the river, Oliver. We need to focus on the river. Stop, stop getting uh, distracted. Yes, Mr. Oliver. Right, let's add some trees in the background so the whole world doesn't look too plain. Because, you know, I don't like it when uh, I have a route and it's just very small, plain, and, and very boring. No, we, 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 want, we want lots of trees. We want lots of, like, wildlife. Because we're, we're in the countryside. This, this is supposed to be the countryside, Oliver. So give it a lot of trees as much as you can. Because we want to we wanna feel like we're, we're in a forest, don't we? Or in a, in a valley of, or, or some sort. So we'll just have a few trees like so. Maybe you have some different ones. Maybe some ones that are in a line, and maybe have some of. Oh, I like these ones because these ones got. I got like purple uh, trees. I like. I like the purple trees. So let's have some trees like there. So like just random trees along here. And the good thing about the 2D trees is they do not lag your game at all. Actually, it depends what kind of computer you use. I mean, my computer is actually pretty powerful. I don't know the specs of my computer, but like. My computer is, is like it's like super amazing. So, you know, I think that's why my game is not lagging at all at the moment. Right, so now we've added those trees. We need to add the bushes now, don't we? So we need want to add these little guys. I'll just copy these. Just gently place them down. So as I said, we can we can we can improvise because if we, if we can't have rocks or anything, like we 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 we, we can work with what we got. Classic laser jet, work around the clock. Always Always improvising, isn't he? Yes, sir. That's what we do around here. This is what we do on the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, always improvise. Im imp improv improvise. Improvise. Shut up. Why can't I speak properly? I'm having trouble speaking. So we'll just have a few bushes just along here. Like so. Fan, this is looking this is looking absolutely amazing. I can I cannot wait to actually run a train on this. Like we are we are we are actually getting close of actually running a train. On this line for the first time ever, but I don't think that'll be for another few videos. But once that, when that time comes, it's it's gonna be amazing. Bushes down on this side, 
And then we'll put some down on this side like so. Just place them down. I mean, this, is a, this is just a rough cut, guys. You can play around with this as much as you want. But, you know, I'm just like doing just a little rough cut just to show you guys what how I do it and what we do on this channel and what, how I do my root building. I do root build like this, but sometimes I do take a lot of care and a thought but at the moment because i've done this so many times I, I i'm just placing random stuff down without even giving it a second thought but that's not what i normally do so you know you know, forgive me there we go look at that I mean, it's, it's almost joining up to this dude isn't it it's very close that is looking that is looking marvelous see that that is looking much better that, that looks better than what it looked like last week i mean believe me that just looks that looks just some, it looks like something out of Jurassic Park now, doesn't it? Oh, the only thing we're missing now is the dinosaurs. So now, we'll just place some more trees down. Just give it a bit... Oh, God. Place, sort of going a bit over, over your head of yourself, Mr. Oliver. You might want to slow down. What I can't slow down, though, is it's, it's looking so good. Let me just put some random trees all along here. Tell you what, this road needs a bit more detail, doesn't it? And, like, the scenery. So just put some random trees... All along here. I think I've said this like way too many times in my videos, but I'm just going to say it again just to let you guys know. But you got to be so patient when you're root building because it just, it just takes so long to build. Even like building this small little like heritage line. It's not even that big. It's it's tiny. It's taken me like what? Um, th f five episodes, six episodes to build all this so far. So... It has it, it has been a quite of an epic series. This, I mean, I'm, I I think this is a fantastic series that I have been making. So anyway, once you're finished with the tree, the reason why I'm not showing, I'm not I'm not explaining what I'm doing much because you know you guys know how to place trees down. You just select a tree that like you want, and you just click 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 click. And there's nothing. I mean, placing trees down is just like the simplest thing. And I think you guys have got this narrowed down anyway, so you don't really need me to show you how to place trees down. Because you, you guys are awesome. You guys you guys will learn this, like, really quickly, as I once did. And once you're finished with the 2D trees, you can actually make a start with the 3D trees. The, the detail trees, I call them. I, I mean, they're, they're, they're basically called 3D trees, but I call them the detail trees. Because if you look, there's, like, much more detail on them. Because, obviously, they're, like, they're 3D and not 2D pictures. Because they're rubbish. We'll just put some trees along there. Like so, next to the bushes. Some there, some there, some there, some there, some there, some there, one there, one there, and maybe one more. Can we fit one more there? I think so. Oh yes, that's that's looking epic. That is looking so epic. Now I think what we need to do is we need to save this because this is actually like this is this is just like artwork now. This is just like pure fantasy here. Like this, this has become more of a of a of an art piece more than just a tutorial of how to build your own room. I mean, this is this is 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 beautiful. It's it's absolutely stunning. Now is actually add some detail on the line. So what we want to do is go to the paintbrush, and I think we should add um, where's uh, should we add gravel uh, or rock coal. Uh, we need, we'll find like uh, mud like, or well, let's have a look at the textures, see what we can find. Could you add this one? Nope, that's a bit too... Um, so let's add, let's add the coal and see what that looks like. Uh, nah, oh god, that, 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 that's, that's the coal. Uh, no, that, that won't do at all. What about the gravel? Um, actually, I think, I think the gravel is, is probably our best bet so i mean you guys could you uh, if you guys want to use something else than just the gravel then you can do so but i'll just i'll just use this gray gravel i mean it doesn't look very pretty but you know you gotta as i said you gotta work of what you got or should i have this mud instead actually i think we should have i think we should have this mud instead of the gravel actually get rid of the gravel get get out of here gravel all of it needs to go shoo and then we'll just paint this all along the line up to the station like so. Just paint, 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 paint. Lovely, 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 lovely. Get rid of all this horrible grass. Give it a bit more detail. That's what we want. That's what we like to see. And we'll just paint it all up once we go up to the bridge. See that, that? That looks that looks much better than the gravel, in my opinion. So we'll just get rid of all that. I am really pleased with this bit because this bit has got like so much amazing detail on it. I mean, that that's something I'm really proud about. So there we have it. There we go. 
paint it across, paint it, get rid of all the gravel, all the gravel needs to go, just put mud on it, there we go, lovely, oh yes, that looks much better my friends, I think the mud looks much more better than the horrible stinky gravel, actually I don't even know that gravel is, actually I don't even know if gravel smells, so all the dirt is placed down nearly, we just want to do the other side of the bridge, so we'll just do the bridge bit now, just paint it, paint, 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 like so. And that is the end of the line. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As I said, you know, this is not a very big uh, little railway, but as I said, it's still a good one, isn't it? Right, so let's save that again because the train splitter does have a bad habit of crashing. It's just it's so unpredictable. But that is beautiful. Look at this. What we need now is some boats. And this side looks really cool because it actually looks like a proper river. But if you look over this side, you can actually see that the river is actually a dead end. But apart from that, it is looking great. Now, what we need to do is, I think, in my opinion, we need to cover the entire, like, tree area with a different shade of green. So, if we go to grass and see if we can find a different kind of coloured texture for it. Hmm, maybe we should have, should we try this one? We'll put it on 120, see how big it is. Um, or this one. Or should we have... This one. No, that's the default one. That's the rubbish one. Uh, we need like a dark one. Ah, here we go. I ah, found it. This is perfect. So now we just want to cover all the trees with this shade of green. So it's got more darker. Because to be honest, this 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 texture for this uh, for this grass is actually pretty bad. So we're going to replace the grass with this lovely darker green which looks nice i mean in my opinion it looks nice i mean don't what you guys think leave your answer in the comment section below see what you think of this grass i mean i, th I think i think this 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 dark green is is much better let's have a little look oh yes much 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 better starting to look like starting to look more and more better so now i think we need to finish off with the trees now don't we mr smith Finish it off with the detail. So a tree there, tree there, tree here, tree there, tree there. Some trees here. Just to give the river a bit more detail in a more more lively manner. Because, you know, this is nature. We need to respect nature. This is amazing. Now, this has turned out much better. I mean, some people might think this looks awful. But I think it looks better than I thought it would be. But as I said, there's still so much detail parts to do. It's not finished yet. It's just, just we just got so much to do. So let's save it again, because um, train simulator is so unpredictable. So we've got a station. We've got a car park. We've got houses. We've got a road bridge. We've got a little valley. Then we've got a water bridge that we travel over the water. It just looks so good. I I'm so pleased with this. But my friends, we're going to end the video for here for today. I don't know what... I think we're just going to finish off with doing some detail parts. And then we need to finish off the uh, the, 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 the car park and, the, and the, 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 the town. We need to finish the town! But we are very close to actually running a train on here. It, it's going to look so good. And I cannot wait to start doing some programming. Because I need to show you guys how to do some programming. How to program your own trains. But anyway, my friends, I hope you guys did enjoy another route building tutorial. What, what do you think? I mean, I think this looks really, I, it looks really good. I mean, I, I'm so pleased with myself. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good evening. And remember, my friends, it's all about the game. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Go about <laughs> that for an experience it's a flying train yes oh she made it <laughs> oh I can't bear this I might be an expert at these things sort of